It's time for another experiment to help pass the time while you and your families are at home. Joining me today are two familiar faces, Tom Turton and meteorologist Beth Finello. But they're outside. What are you two up to, guys? That's right, Jamie. Today we're outside. We're going to create a rainbow. And the reason we're outside is because one of the materials that we need is the sun. Yeah, and I have a glass of water and a piece of white paper. And that's it. Those are all of the materials you need to create a rainbow in your backyard. Here's how it happens. The sun will shine through the glass of water and that will reflect the rainbow onto the white paper. Why don't you go over there and check it out? It looks really cool. But why does this happen? Well, it's very simple. This happens because light is made up of a lot of colors. When light passes through water, it's broken up, scattered, and the colors can be seen in a rainbow. See that, Tom? How cool does that look? Right here. And you know, you could take crayons or yep. something and kind of trace out your pattern because every pattern is going to be a little bit different and everybody sees a rainbow just a little bit differently than the next person. Exactly. And it's very simple to do and it's really easy and you can go outside and enjoy the nice weather that we're having. But for now, Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, guys. Have an experiment idea? Shoot us an email at news at color10.com. For a full list of materials, head over to our website, ozarksfirst.com. Also, while you're there, be sure to register for our weekly drawing of a Midland Weather Radio. Every week, we're going to draw a winner, and this week's winner is James Ford from Monette, Missouri. Congratulations. And a big thank you to our sponsor this week, EO Woods Roofing. See you next time with another experiment you can do at home.